This conference will now be recorded. So in the last class, we have seen about your uh, the for loop, how to use your for loop. Inside your for loop, how can you, how can you read your internal table, how to use your case statement, the, I mean the switch statement, and how to use your conditional operator we have seen. And we have also seen, uh, we have also seen, we can also use your uh, concatenation over there. I have also already shown you that. But the issue over this in for loop is, so every time for every field, we need to use a read operator. How can you avoid that? In order to avoid that, we need to go ahead and use your let operator. So this is the one, the let operator, so which we have already discussed. And I have already shown you the, Resultant output, how can you use your let operator for it? Any questions in that? Lakshmi and Ashwini, before we go ahead with uh, the last and the final thing called as your reduce statement. Any questions? Okay, I'll be considering no. it as no. Okay, I'll be considering it as no questions. And let's get started with our today's session. So, see, this is what the requirement I have given. Get the accounting document tables from BKPF and PZ, and this is what the output fields. I want to concatenate with the pipe delimiter and company code name, and these are the one concatenation. And the company code name is BUK RS equal to thousand, and I need to print it as India. And BUK RS equal to three thousand, and I need to print it as US. Else others. So KOK RT description is KOK RT equal to K Vendas. And if KOK RS is equal to GL, else others. So try to complete this requirement right with for all entries only. Don't use joins and use your for loop. Use your for loop. So try to complete this requirement. Now, in this let operator, in this for loop, so now my, my requirement is, my requirement is one second. Let me add in your thing not over here. Let me open your your document. Okay, try to complete this requirement, uh, try to complete this and come back with me a solution. I have asked you to, to check one thing. Did you get a chance to check that? So my requirement is, I want to call a function module inside a for loop. Inside a for loop. So, so in in the, so this is the one which I have given you as your requirement. I ask you to check it is. So did you get a chance to check this? Did you get a chance? If you if not, anyways, I'm going to tell you. Or I want to write a select query. I want to write a select query. I want to call a function module inside a for loop, or I want to call a I want to write a select query inside a for loop. Inside a for loop. So how can we achieve that? Or I want to I want to call a class method. A class method inside a for loop. How can we do that? How can we do that? So if the, the above requirements, if I want to do the above requirements, if we want to achieve the, if I want to achieve the above requirement, requirement, then I need to use the class and method approach. The class and method approach. Now, 
the output parameters of this methods the output parameter the output parameter of this method method must be must be of type returning parameter returning value parameter so that means we can't able to use we can't able to use the exporting and the changing parameter we can't able to use the exporting and the changing parameter so you have to always use with your the returning parameter only so now let's go ahead and see that let me try to log on to sap now i'm going to se38 let me open the for loop with the let operator and let's click on your change now my requirement is uh, let let me consider how can we do that okay so let me go ahead and call a function module se37 so slash o se37 so let me take a function module uh, one second okay let me go ahead and take this one so so now i'm going to create a class so what is this so here class lcl underscore local definition final and then end the class and then class lcl underscore local implementation and then end the class so this is what now the first and the foremost thing is i'm going to have my method method read underscore the text so i want to read the text so read text and you need to write methods read text returning value returning value so you need to provide your value so whatever the value you want you have to provide that so i'm going to say this as r underscore value r underscore value type let's say cat 100 cat 100 now so if you have any export importing parameters you can use that importing parameters but the output must be is of your exporting parameters let's say the importing parameter is mat nr type so that is equal to im underscore mat nr type mat nr okay now this is what your returning parameter is now i will go ahead and write out my logic so what i will do method read underscore text and then i'm going to say this as end method so now i will be writing this as uh, r underscore value i'm just writing this as value something so which is nothing but the read text function module the value of the value of read text function module okay so this is what my output is so whatever the input i'm going to get i'm going to get this now i'm going to say one more thing called as read underscore text type cat hundred i'm just going to give you this now for this read underscore text so this is what i'm going to use read 
So now I need to I need to implement this. So I'll go ahead and implement this one. So data of g g r underscore gvo underscore l c l l o c a l is equal to new of new l c l underscore local you might not be knowing this i'll be letting you know what is meant by this so this is the new syntax this is the new syntax the new syntax for creating a object for creating an object referring to class so previously how you will be writing so in the older style this is your new style new style and coming to your old style how you will be going to write your old old style so in the old style how you will be writing data go underscore local type a reference to lcl underscore your local local and then we will be writing create object go underscore lcl so this is the one which you will be writing in your older style so that the, the new style for creating of your object is we will be using a syntax called as new and you have to provide your class you have to provide your class this is your new style so i'm just keeping your old style as well as your new style now i want to call this read text is equal to go underscore local hyphen so what is your method so you need to provide your material so this is what my material is so i'm just providing my material so now the output value will be get stored over here the output value will be get stored over here now do your pretty printer let me check this i forgot to write the public session so now pretty printer check this and activate excuse me now if i keep my breakpoint over here let me click on execute your break excuse me i'll just say click on execute now see here your breakpoint has been connected your breakpoint has been created so inside your method you can able to debug so now for the second one, third one, fourth one, fifth one, sixth one, seventh one, like this, it will go ahead and do for every loop. Now, if I say F8, see here, it will just going to do everything and it will be just display. It will just go ahead and display your output. Whatever the output you have, it will just go ahead and display that your output. Now, if I go here, see value of the text function module has been came up. So this is how you need to call your function. You need to, you can call. Now inside this, if you want, whatever you want, you can go ahead and call this. We can call, we can call, we can call <coughs> class hyphen method. Right? We can call, we can write a select query. we can we can call a function module whatever you want you can go ahead and call it over here you can go ahead and call it over here but the output must be of your returning value always remember this the output must be of returning value always remember this one now do your pretty printer do your pretty printer and let's get activate so we can't able to use the optional i know it but just i tried that 
okay so this is how you can call this one. so let me copy this and let me put that in your notes so example program okay so this is what i just remove and now the next requirement is so this is what i have asked the next requirement is i have a deep structure inside i have a structure inside my internal table so this is what so i have my next requirement my requirement my next requirement is i have a structure inside a internal table i have a structure inside a internal table so in so how can we how can we fill that data how can we fill the data of that of that how can we fill the data so that means in old type so that means so how my structure is so i'll just go ahead and create an example program for you now example on for loop deep deep structure so let's so example program on for loop for loop with deep structure for loop with your deep structure i'm going to take this as type executable program click on save i'll go ahead and save that in your package as well as in your tr so i'm going to say no standard page heading so now my requirement is my requirement is i have created a type declaration i have created a type declaration i have created a type declaration with a structure with a fields and a table so with the fields and a table so now how i am going to create this types begin of gty underscore final so let me go ahead like this ebe ln ebe ln type ebe ln so this is my sales order so purchase order let me go to the ekko table slash o s e 11 i'm just going to ekko i just click on display now ebe ln the next one is i'm going to take bukrs type bukrs the next one is bstyp bstyp type estyp ebs sorry ebs typ and the next one is bsart type esart the next one is aedat type erdat E R D A T and the next one is E R N A M type E R N A M. So now I will be having my V B sorry E K P O type E K P O underscore my T which is my table type end of G T Y underscore the final. Now let me do a pretty printer. So now let me click on check. So now let me go back. So I want to check my table type EKPO. So I'll just click on my values list. I'll remove everything. I'll just select from my table types. So now I'll just go ahead and take ekpo underscore your tdy see here table type for purchasing document items so ekpo underscore tdy so if i just double click on this it will go ahead and 
I'll just go here, which is of my type standard. So I'm just copying this one and I'm going to paste it over here. So this is my table type. <clears throat> now I'll just go ahead and create my table types. Types GDD underscore final type standard table of gty underscore final and the next is your data declaration data declarations now data i will say gt underscore final type gtd underscore your final now do your pretty printer and what i will do i'll go ahead and keep a breakpoint now do your pretty printer and let's get activate your code now when i click on execute now see here your gt underscore final is off will contains your work area as well as this is your internal table so one record which will have one more internal table so now this is what i need to fill this is what i need to fill it how can you fill that data how can you fill that data is what you need to know is what you need to know how can i fill my data now now what i am going to do it so now let me go ahead and let me go ahead and write my startup selection now i'll just say one more one second guys One second. Just give me one second. One second, I'll try to log on with my remote desktop. So let me go ahead and create over here. So now I'm going to SC38. So what I will do CR8 AM for loop deep structure example. So now I'll just go ahead and create for loop deep structure example. I'm just going to take this as executable program. Let's click on save. I'll just go ahead and save that in my local object. So now I'm going to say no standard page heading. So now I want to create my type declaration pattern with fields, PKKO. So whatever I want, I'll just select this.
just click on continue so done and i'm going to take this as type begin of ts that's fine and now the next one is ekpo type ekpo hyphen so what is the one which we have taken ekpo type underscore tty so now i need to go ahead and write tty so now do your pretty printer let's get check this An enhancement of structure type is in consistence that's fine so now i'll go ahead and create my type types declarations in this one table type gtt underscore ekpo type standard table of ts underscore ekko the next one i am going to have my data declarations data gt underscore ekpo type gtt underscore ekpo ekpo now the next thing is my start of selection so now what i need to do so i will get the details of ekko so now i'm going to get the details get the details from ekko table so select select ebeln ebeln bukrs pstyp and then p s a r t and then a e d a t and then e r n a m from e k k o into table at the rate date at the rate data of g d underscore e k k o up to let's say 100 rows now i need to go ahead and get the details from get the details from ekpo table so i'm going to say select start from ekpo into table at the rate data of gt underscore ekpo for all entries in at the rate gt underscore ekpo where ebln is equal to at the rate gt underscore ekko hyphen ebln now i got my data of ekko and i got my data of ekpo now what i need to do i need to go ahead and fill this internal table so now how you need to fill previously in your previous syntax how you used to write so we used to write loop at gt underscore ekko type ekko into at the rate into data of gs underscore ekpo ekpo so this is what you need to go you will be writing this now what you will be doing so you will be writing uh, I'll just go ahead and create a work area for this too. So GS underscore EKPO or GS underscore GS underscore EKPO type TS underscore EKPO. I'm just going to write this one. Now, now what I need to do. So once this is done, so you need to go ahead and write loop it, loop it. So you need to, you will be writing this, you will be writing this loop at GS underscore EK, sorry, GS underscore, so loop it. So this is what, GD underscore EK PO. One second. 
into data of gs underscore ek pivo ek pivo now this is what you will be writing loop inside a loop and you will be filling so for everything you will be having an internal table over here so what you will be writing where eb ln is equal gs underscore ek pivo hyphen eb ln so this is what and then you will be going and filling of your data you will be going and filling of your data so this is what you will be doing this so now you will be first filling of your so i am just writing my comments so we will first fill the data of <coughs> gs underscore final hyphen ek pivo gs underscore final hyphen ek pivo this is what we will be doing it so so on that note i'll also go ahead and create one more thing so what i will do so gs underscore final hyphen ek pivo type ts underscore ek pivo hyphen ts underscore ek pivo hyphen and you will be filling that your ek pivo your ek pivo and now what you will be doing what you will be doing so so now this is your work area or else i'll just go ahead and say gs underscore ek pivo now what you will be doing gs underscore ek pivo is equal to karma corresponding hash of gs underscore ek pivo ek pivo so now i just filled my i just passed the details of ek pivo to ek pivo one now append gs underscore ek pivo ek pivo one two gs underscore final hyphen ek pivo ek pivo now once this is done now i am also going to say one more thing called as <coughs> gs underscore final uh, gs underscore final equal to corresponding hash gs underscore ek pivo gs underscore ek pivo so this is what i just using my corresponding and i'm just filling my data and now append gs underscore final to gt underscore final so this is what now what i will do i go ahead and keep my print point so now i'll do my pretty printer let's get activate your code check check this Check this. No, that's it. Now activate your code. I'll just go ahead and click my breakpoint. Let me click on execute. So now see here. So now if my G T file, so this is of your internal table. This is of your internal table. I want to fill that internal table too. Now if I say F O five. F O five, it will just going and looping this, and it is going to fill this internal table. So first record has been appended. Now I don't have anything. I don't have anything. Okay. So here, see here, it has removed this data. It has removed this 
data. So what I need to do, so this field, I'll just go ahead and keep it at my top. This field, I'll just go ahead and keep at my top. So let me click on execute. So double corresponding value is going to remove that. So in that case, so you will be writing paste gs underscore final of hey that went to this okay. i'll just fill these values manually ebln is equal to gs underscore ekko hyphen ebln next gs underscore final gs underscore final hyphen what are the fields puk rs is equal to gs underscore akko hyphen puk rs the next one is gs underscore final hyphen bs dyp is equal to gs underscore akko hyphen bs dyp the next one is gs underscore final hyphen b s a r t is equal to gs underscore e k k o hyphen b s a r t the next one is gs underscore final hyphen a e d a t is equal to gs underscore e k k o hyphen a e d a t the next one is gs underscore final hyphen e r t a m is equal to gs underscore e k k o hyphen e r n a m so this is what now do your predictor and let's activate your code and let it for your execute now i'll say f5 f5 edition depending the record and it is going to affect your record so we should have all your data so if I say we're changing final, see yes, the standard table. So the cost will be a standard table. So if you just go ahead and add your record, you can see here two records. Two records. So this is how so this is how you will be writing in your old style. This is how you will be writing in your old style. Now let me click on execute. So now see here, but everything, how many records are there, is just coming up. So why it is getting implemented? I forgot to clear that. I forgot to clear, clear the loop over there. So that's it. As I'm using the work area, I need to clear this one. So it happened of this clear. Clear GS underscore EKP one. So this is what you will be ready. Now, how can we go ahead and change that with your new syntax? So with the help of new syntax. So that means with the help of your formula. With the help of your formula, how can I go into do that? So what is the value in GD underscore final is equal to hash? I'm just going to write first is gs underscore five first gs, GS underscore in a table in in gd underscore epk table so now i'm just going to write this one so now i'm just going to copy from here i'll shift the right arrow down arrow, I just clean all my fields. What are the fields I do have? I'm just going to have in that. So now, what is the next field? Okay, P O P D one two. Again, hash. I'm just going to write my part. So loop inside a for. First is GS underscore first. So what is the one first is GS underscore EKPO in GD underscore EKPO and 
Any questions? You can ask me if you have any questions. Try to know these things, it will be helpful for your career too. Just 
Okay. So I'll go ahead and upload this one. So that's the end of today's session. Before I signing off for today, any other questions? Can actually message me. Or if you have how to use a parlor inside a parlor. And how can you call your classes as well as inside your parlor? Are you clear? Yes, Rakesh. Yes, sir. Uh, thanks, thanks for confirming that. I hope that you are also clear with that. So, if you have any questions, you can just reach out to me. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. So, in tomorrow's class, we will be seeing here, reduced operator. Okay. Thank you.